Energy is working on a new type of energy storage for the electric grid. Uh, we're using buoyancy to store excess wind power when it's not needed and to make that a dispatchable source of power when it is needed. So the idea is to pull a buoy underwater when you have wind energy that you don't need. You can hold that there for as long as you want to until you need the energy again. Then when you need the power, you allow the buoy to rise back to the surface and this end of the tether would be connected to a generator and as the buoy rises back to the surface, the tether will spin the generator and generate the electricity that you need. Wind power could be offshore or near shore on, on land and we would couple to that with an electrical cable and use that as our source of energy to pull the buoy underwater. So to pick an example, if you had a buoy that was 10 meters or about 30 feet in diameter, in about 100 meters or 300 feet of water, you could store 150 kilowatt hours with that buoy. So we're initially looking to partner with the Hawaiian Electric Company to actually interface directly with the grid and also with wind projects that exist in Hawaii. And uh, also looking to partner with wind developers who are installing new wind projects in that state and in California, Massachusetts, on the East Coast as well for coastal regions, which more than 50% of the world's population lives very close to. So it has a very large percentage of the world's people that it can serve. We're extremely early stage right now. Uh, the company is only about two months old and the idea itself is only three months old. So we just submitted a grant application for some SBIR funding from the Department of Energy and uh, we'll be looking to build an integrated prototype with the money that we get from that. We actually started Cleantech Open with a flywheel concept using a spinning disk to store energy and we made it semifinals with that concept. But midway through the summer, we realized that it was never going to be cheap enough to do the kind of massive scale energy storage that we wanted to achieve. And so we looked out at the market and thought, what is there that exists today that's cost effective enough to store energy on a huge scale? And what we saw was pumped hydro, pumping water from a low reservoir uphill to a higher reservoir. And so we thought, well, that's a great idea, but there are limited numbers of sites that you can actually install a system like that in. How can we do it without limiting ourselves to needing a mountaintop reservoir? And we came up with the idea of pulling a buoy underwater, which displaces water upwards, just like pumped hydro does, as a way to eliminate dependence on specific sites. So the first $150,000 from the Department of Energy will get us to a first small-scale integrated prototype, after which we'll be looking to raise significant venture capital to begin a pilot project to deal with the environmental permitting and regulations and to eventually bring the product to market. So we haven't done a lot of talking to the market yet, but we've gotten some pretty good feedback from people we have talked to. People think it's a really interesting idea and we've heard from several people that they can't believe that no one else has thought of it yet. So we're pretty proud of having come up with it. Yes, I think we are. Um, the flywheel required some pretty serious technical innovation, and this is much more a matter of integrating mechanical parts that already exist into a coherent system. Um, but we're certainly not so attached to it that if we run into problems and need to switch to a new idea, that we won't be able to do that.